We're gonna go through Dodd's Narrows between two islands, so it becomes like rapids. I present you with a certificate of completion. I'm Kate, and this is my husband Mick. Our kids, Thomas and Bentley, and my parents, Kevin and Shauna. We are three generations coming together to create the Cruising Marikee Project. We're not going to see Grandma and Grandpa for a month after living together for the last year and a half. Pretty weird feeling for the boys. Maybe touching the mud on the anchor wasn't a good idea. Cleaned off the anchor. So we had a really quick one night stay at Wallace. We got here late afternoon, just enough time to hike to the cabin and drop our name plaque off. I think you would have seen that just at the end of the last episode. So if you missed it, check it out. It's pretty cool. All the boaters unite in one cabin with all the names hanging. It's a pretty cool feeling to walk in there and think of all the people that have been there. It's very neat. We're gonna get our sails up pretty quick and we are heading to... To Corsi Island, where uh, the Pirates Cove Anchorage is that we're planning to head to now. We got time on We've turned off the engine and we're going zero knots. Where's the wind gone? I don't know. This is sailing in the Gulf Islands. Oh, I think because we had it through there and now we're in the lead of this one. And now look ahead. <laughs> Money stuff. Just is constantly changing. There's so many little islands. And we can see up, up ahead that again there's that line where it's just glass. <laughs> so. it's supposed to be yeah. Look at the flags. There's so much wind, they don't know what to do. Some nice friendly fishermen working hard gave us a nice friendly wave. They're probably crabbing up here, right? What island is this? Norway. Norway? Really? I've never heard of that island. There's a house on it. Looks pretty awesome, hey? Three sails up. I swear. 
got me good. So we've had a slight change of plans. We're actually just passing De Corsi Island. The current picked up and is with us now and we're making great time. So we thought, what the hey? Let's just keep going. We're gonna go through Dodd's Narrows between two islands so it becomes like rapids. But at slack tide, so right before the tide changes, it's very calm and that's the only time you can get through. And we happen to know that slack tide today is at three o'clock. So we're gonna make it through Dodd's Narrows, which is an exciting thing. Yeah. Yeah, the current rips through there at like seven knots. No whitewater rafting in Meraki today. Thursday, Thursday, 42 foot sailing vessel Lalica entering Dodd Narrows northbound. Concerned vessels, which an answer channel 16. Dodd Narrows is up there. We're hearing all the boats calling, going through, saying they're going through. So everyone's going a bit early. Must be calm. So we'll prepare our sails soon. Drop them. Then we'll go through the narrows. Cool man. Here we go. Make a turn into the wind. Drop the jib and then drop the main. I know. I just couldn't see. The sun was in my eyes. done professionals it's almost like we know what we're doing now for the main are you feeling good we're in a good direction yeah there's no boats around no okay i appreciate your reassurance just do this but okay kind of really messy aren't you supposed to flake it instead of just piling it on the dodger <laughs> that felt perfect you can turn back whenever you want yeah i have turned but i guess oh. we have no speed so we're not turning two dodds narrows Great job. Thanks. Nicely non flaked. I did ask the sail when I was doing that, and it's like, I don't, I don't care, mate. Just wrap me up. Okay. First radio call. Now? Yeah. Okay. Security, security, security. 45 foot sailing vessel northbound through Dodd's Narrows, standing by on 1-6. Good show! Yeah! Oh! <laughs> I don't know if anyone heard it. Are you fun? Why did you have to make a radio? Because it's really narrow and we just got to let people know that we're coming through. It's so slack. It's really beautiful in here. It is, isn't it? When it's really flowing through here, it goes faster than our boat can go. And here I am steering with my foot and sun, sun, sun tanning my thigh. It's luck for you. <laughs> I know they are like caves. Look at that one. So cool. It's really cool. This is a big deal. It is. I mean, so many years we've come up here on Masuda and seen all these things and then here we are this far up on our own boat. It's pretty awesome. Like first trip. So you come out of beautiful pristine Dodds Narrows and the sailing we were doing on the other side of Dodds, it was just like we were in the middle of nowhere. And you pop out the other side and you're kind of in the industrial part of Nanaimo 
We've got a sawmill over there. And a lot of times there's barges coming through here um, with a load of logs. So the, and sometimes the logs drop off the barges. So the boys are up the front on log watch. in front of us it's kind of hot yeah, it's really hot busy little spot hey yeah it's super busy we just got passed by a power boat sailboat just went through i saw a float plane take off there's a tugboat pulling two massive barges full of wood the ferry just left the nine boat head to vancouver <laughs> we're here yeah i've never been so excited to be in the nine boat in my life <laughs> That's a pretty cool, cool milestone. Yeah, it is. Good job, another fabulous day. Yeah. <laughs> we made it, it's a busy anchorage. The wind okay. is starting to pick up and I think it's gonna continue that way for a couple hours or through the night, we're not really sure. We have to double check. But I think we found a happy spot. Hopefully the guy behind us isn't too worried. We are kind of close to him. Not much room in here. But yeah, like Mick just said, it's tight. There isn't a lot of room. Beautiful day in Nanaimo. Kids and I are gonna go to land, get some errands done. The purpose of us being here is a really great port, second biggest city on Vancouver Island. Uh, there's a good marine store, there's good grocery stores. We're really hoping there's good internet because it was an epic fail in Salt Spring to get our videos uploaded. Mick's staying behind on Meriki to do some jobs. The purpose of being in Nanaimo, get some videos uploaded, provision for food again. It's gonna be a good time. We'll see you later. I don't know how long we'll be, but we can connect by phone because there's actually cell range here. Yeah. Okay. Just ran all the wires for the fuel gauge. Usually you run it to the ignition switch, so whenever you turn the key to ignition to start the engine, it'll uh, power the fuel gauge. I've actually just put it to a switch, so I can just turn that on and off whenever I want to check the fuel. Oh, that was just the easiest for me, rather than tying into all the ignition stuff up there. And yeah, I'm about to flick the switch to see if the gauge pops on. Okay, let's see if this works. Hmm, it moved, but not very far. Uh, I don't know what to say about that. And here's what we look like on a boat work day. It's almost like we're back in uh, construction mode. What you working on there, sir? Okay. I tried to wire in the fuel gauge, as you've seen and it only, the needle only just jumped a little and I know we've got plenty of fuel so I'm just trying to figure that out. Could it be the thing on the inside of the tank? Yeah, it most likely. The sensor? It, yeah, it could be because I know the gauge has got power and the gauge is working because I jumped the wires and it read full which means it's good and so it's either the sending wire from the gauge to the tank or the ground wire from the tank to ground so I'm just trying to figure out how to Troubleshoot it. Yeah, find out what's what's happening. Good job. Okay, so after Mick installing our beautiful fuel gauge and running all the wires and troubleshooting it, we have come to the conclusion that it does indeed work. It just works backwards. When the tank is full, it reads empty. And when the tank is empty, it reads full. And what we think happened is we had a custom fuel tank made and the gentleman put in a sensor rod for us 
but the sensor rod would have been too long for our tank. So he would have had to have removed it and cut it. And we think he then installed it upside down. So we're gonna leave it. And we just know that full is empty and empty is full. <laughs> Up. Part of Vancouver Island. Woohoo! What are we doing on land today, people? Laundry, a bit of grocery shop, and Hello. marine store, auto parts store, waves, computer download, uploads. Ah, uh, yeah, all that good stuff. Our our dinghy is full. We need fuel. We're gonna do laundry. Good job, Captain! Captain Tom! Captain Tom! The boys took their first solo ride to shore in the dinghy. What? What's happening? Where did you guys just go? Um, to get the dog to pee. Took wow. the dog to pee? And? and it took him like at least one minute to pee because he had a one minute long. pee. Oh wow, he had a long pee. Oh well, then. <laughs> How do you feel, mate? I have a very special presentation for you. Congratulations, sir. Congratulations, sir. Congratulations. I present you with a certificate of completion to Thomas and Bentley for their first solo dinghy ride to shore. Yeah. Woo! High fives. Like, okay. Well done, guys. We did it. Come on, you get to put this on your wall. Look, You'll remember the date forever. Wow, impressive stuff, guys. I didn't know they gave those out on this boat. What do you think? Yeah, I'm just checking out Wednesday now. Why? Um. Oh, for our next trip. Yeah, because we'll be here tonight. And we know that crossing's going to be okay. A little rough first off. And then the next day we're going to come out of Laskidi down the south end of Texada and then all the way up. They call this uh, the Malas, Malaspina Strait. That's quite another narrow body of water where it kind of acts like a tunnel for the wind and also the current to flow through. So Looks pretty calm though. Yeah. There's there's three, three weather outlooks that I kind of look at. See, that's the difference with another one. It's all things that we can handle and the boat can handle. So the next day will be from there all the way up to in here. And then from there, follow the coast all the way up towards Desolation, Cortez. Woohoo! <laughs> Should be there by Thursday. Today's Tuesday. Mm -hmm.